Hey YouTube, so I'm back and we're going to carry on with our amazing, cool, ultra, Mortal Kombat themed game for some reason. And after the short episode last time, I didn't know it was actually 7 minutes long. Yeah, I'll try to make them longer, like usual. But I thought this time, I'll, I really like the idea of us building our game up, adding loads of objects to it. So like, we'll expand our game, so... I thought it'd be cool if we did that, so that's something what we're going to do today. Um, all we're basically going to do is go to the 3D modelling dot website thing, what we use all the time, and you're just going to get different models and stick them into our game. Like, everywhere, so yeah. So, the link's in the description, and if you don't want to see me going through the process, because you know how to do it, simply just go... To skip to the end of the video really so I'm gonna start off with some hmm architecture probably add some buildings to our game don't know if we'll be able to go inside them or not but it's worth a try bridge interior no so we just basically just look around and find something you like so I'll pause the video here until I find something I like and I'll show you I won't download it or anything though so hey guys so I'm back and I found one I liked so I'm going to get this Tetch build it's called Tetch IRC Tetch Center it looks really cool so I thought it'd be a good thing to our game um, it's detailed so I'm going to save that in there so we can have a look somewhere else I'll download it later when I have find another one so I'm going to go to furniture so we can do something like a bench or something in our thing our game because it'll be cool. Um, I don't know really. Could download anything here. But there's only two pages, so we'll just look through two pages and anything good. Uh, nothing what suit our game yet. We might be able to see if we do some interiors inside houses. We can't make it so you can go inside this one or something. Um, I've also been thinking why not make it get our game so like kind of like Grand Theft Auto, so you can like get in vehicles and stuff, we could like make it so you can get in Mishibishis and stuff like that. Um, that might take a while to code, but I think it'd be worth it. We could get some tanks and some Star Wars arts or something. Yeah, so, um, I'm just going to look through here for a while and I'm going to pick like, I don't know, three more objects, so we have four or something. And then I will um, come back and show you what I have and download them and import them and we'll begin. Hey guys, so I'm back and hopefully I won't have to go again, but you never know. I found three models which I liked. Um, I found this Century Turret gun which I thought would be really cool and it's from Team Fortress. And by 3D Regenerator again, who is a really nice person. Um, he does so many models and stuff, but I've also got Shang Tsung because, well, I thought it'd be cool to add more characters. I know we probably have buildings or something, but oh well. And I've got the Tetch building, so now I'm going to download them all, and yeah, I'll download. Hey YouTube, so I'm back, and hopefully no more cuts because that is just getting really annoying, and I'm probably hope probably thinking you lot don't like it either so yeah so the mods have downloaded and I simply imported them to unity like we have many times created a new folder so it's organized they put our buildings in there weapon in there and just put Shang Tsung with the rest of them so we don't muddle up and unity's automatically imported them so now we will firstly import the buildings that looks cool so click it and yeah it's textured which is really good and helpful but if we bring it on stick it there is that big enough too big too small um that's way too small so now if we find the center point which is there drag it up a bit and let's make it bigger so we click our model try not to scale it because it's a lot easier to do it to here for now until later because it's like if you edit anything in here it will edit it unless you've changed the actual model like you've renamed it or deleted it or something so um, right, so I'm back and no more cuts because that is going to take a hell of a lot of editing and I'm pretty sure you lot don't like it either. So, yep, um, the building's done and as you can see it has some text which says Kite 
Centre for Emerging Technologies. Pretty sure that's just a night. Um, oh well. As you can see, it's got a buttload of material, like, objects. So, yeah, it took a while because it's very, very detailed. So, it... Yeah. Now we go to the Y view and we can move it around. But as you can see, we have a couple of big things we don't want. So to easily fix this, we simply double click on it like so and delete the ones we don't want. But now we can't edit the scale of it, so just uh, that's why we did it before. So let's go back up to the top because that's getting annoying. Boom. And we will move it to where we want. So there. Will that do? We did to it the floor, so we'll drag it down a bit, hit it there. Um, yeah, that should work. But we need a floor first, so delete the animation as well, we don't need that. So let's drag, get our terrain again, floor two, drag it up and find where it is. It's a zero, 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 which is there. Wrong floor, we don't need that one. So if we go back to here, find our... Okay, let's just duplicate that one. It seems a lot easier. Duplicate this and drag it across. Like so, we now have a bigger terrain. Much easier to work. So now if we play, we should be able to walk around. See our new model. This way. There we are, we now have a nice building. Uh, yes, we can go through it because we need to put colliders on it, but that shouldn't take long, but let's explore. We have a floating window for some reason. Oh well. I think it may need to be bigger though, because um, the doors are a bit small. Probably should have thought about that. Um, so, wow, that's, that looks cool. So like, we could go inside it, we could have a look around. Like so, we're on the floor too at the moment. So we might be able to make it so we can go inside or something. Um, um, yeah, so I'll leave that there for now. Not, I'll not put any more edits in. I might make it bigger off screen, so like make it bigger so the, it actually looks like it's through, through the doors or something. So um, now we will go to models and add our next one. So I think we should add the weapon because that just looked cool. So the center we go and go into it and find that one nope that one there we are it even has rockets with it so we can make it fire at us later maybe that one doesn't two different models oh on this one the rockets are fired out on the other one it's not oh well so we'll drag it in next to our good friend shall come and go to that view maybe that view drag it in, we'll compare it against Deathstroke, so as you can see it's tiny, drag it back so we can compare it, go back to this view, so we obviously need to scale that one, so if we go back to our centre gun, and 4, click apply, this one shouldn't take that long hopefully, um, there we go, so if we have a look, I don't know how big should the sentry gun be. That big? What's that like? Hmm. Yeah, I think that'll do. So we get our sentry gun, rotate it around so we can see, like so, and drag it up this way. Play. Where do we want it? Maybe here. Stick it in the corner. There we go. And, yep, so now quickly we'll do add Shang Tsung to our game right there again this should be textured hopefully there we are Shang Tsung so if I remember right the input scale was 2 and click apply drag it into our game and hopefully there we are I don't know how big Shang Tsung should be I'm not quite sure. I'm pretty sure he's not bigger than Shao Kahn though, which that is right. So we will position him right here. That should do. Let's 
that's facing right, so paste him near the floor so he doesn't fall through, or he's not floating in midair. And are these floating in midair? Yes, yeah, so if we select our three death strokes and move them down a bit, we don't want them floating there. And should we make Shang Tsung destroyable? Hmm, yes. So click Shang Tsung, double click, and add a box collider like we did for Deathstroke scale it up like that and up again down a bit like that and there we go what's the other axis like uh, move it out a bit back a bit that should do See, that's it we now have him we need to add if we look at our other one a rigid body so physics rigid body that should do and but we need to untick gravity there add our destroy script which is enemy collisions like there and that should do so let's add a box collider to our center gun simply because we need one so component um yeah physics box collider Box colliders, um, you can use the other colliders such as sphere and capsule, but I just use box colliders a lot for basic collisions. So if we select our y axis, can't change that one to z axis, there, x axis, there, go to our x axis, change the y axis, back there, drag it up, bit bigger, I think that should do. Now uh, let's make sure it's touching the floor, like about there, that should do. Uh, we won't destroy the turret yet because we don't want everything to be destroyed. Um, yeah, where's the sun, we need to move that. I think we'll get rid of this sun soon and like add spotlights so we can see everything, we can go all the way around and stuff, but yeah. And for our building, we'll just do a really big box collider. It seems easier for the moment. Um, first, I'll get rid of this, though, the floating thing in the air. If it'll let me. Like that. Go up to the top. Click off it and add a box collider. Boom. Which is somewhere. Scale the Z view. There. It's far, far away. We scale it up to something that looks right, like that, and drag it on the x-axis there, bigger, that should do. So if we drag it on the z-axis, down, and make it bigger there, like so, a bit smaller. You can actually make mesh colliders, which we'll be looking at in another tutorial, where we just basically make the collider of whatever we want basically tell it that it's the mesh, so whatever the mesh shape is, the collider it will have. So you can like have dints in rocks and stuff like that. But not yet. Um scale the Y view. About that so we can't jump on top of it or something. And it doesn't have to be perfect because he's not gonna be able to reach up there. Like so. Um What's that view? X view, we'll scale that a bit, like that. And we have a perfect collider. Now if we play, we should be able to destroy Shang Tsung. So can we destroy these three? Yep. Failed shot. And he doesn't want to die, apparently. There we go. And does he die? Fly away. He doesn't want to die. Shang Tsung, which looks awesome. Headshot. And... Our gun, which looks really cool, which we cannot push out of the way. Yeah, that looks cool. And our building, shouldn't be able to bump into it. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And as you can see, the box collider is in place. I cannot go forward. So, um, yeah, mate, this is just a basic of some adding some models. Try to add roads and everything. Um, yeah, so make your game look bigger and better than mine <laughs> um, yeah so I might add some roads or something at the moment so I think that would be quite cool go to our brush which is 
Is that a cube? It's a cube. Oh. Yep, so we won't be adding rows because I've done cubes, not terrains, but yeah. So, um, try to make your game look better than mine. And next tutorial, I think we'll change the lights and add a couple more scenery, add some coins or something so we can have money. And that's it. So, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy.